Tonight, into the drone zone. You see them at sporting events, at outdoor festivals, sometimes near your home. Recreational drones are everywhere, but while many new pilots follow the rules of the skies, some are not following the rules and they're making people downright uncomfortable. News Channel East Josh Benson is live in Tampa with what you need to know if you feel a drone is a little too close for comfort. Josh? Well, Jen, you know, drones are amazing technology. They take great pictures and amazing video of things that we may have never seen before. But what if you take this controller and put it in the wrong hands? You may be asking yourself, do I swat it? Do I shoot it? Do I water it down with a hose? Or do I call the police if that drone is invading my privacy? In the right hands, recreational drones can capture the world in beautiful ways that we have never seen before. In the wrong hands, well, oof, that's going to leave a mark. You're dealing with privacy, power lines, danger, and obviously the propellers. With a couple hundred bucks, anyone can be a drone pilot. Yes, anyone. But what if you're just minding your own business and spot something like this? What are your options? Can you shoot at it? Can you swing at it? What do you do? Some have tried shirts, poses, rifles, even claws. But Larry McKinnon of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says, If you are concerned about it, call us. And don't expect the peeping pilot to go to jail or even be found for that matter. We'll document it and then forward that to the FAA. That could take weeks, even months, in determining if rules were broken. And yes, there are rules. She's already wanting to fly. PJ Cook spent 22 years in the Air Force as an aerial gunner. He has an exemption to fly drones from the FAA and do things that recreational pilots can't, like use his drone for commercial services. Then you agree to only fly up to 400 feet and no closer to, than five miles to an airport. You can't fly over crowds, near stadiums, over moving vehicles, and where people expect privacy. Imagine this guy's surprise. It's exactly why William Meredith was angry in July when he spotted a drone flying over his sunbathing daughter right above his Kentucky home. It's an invasion of privacy. So he shot it out of the sky and was later arrested, charged with two felonies. Well, guess what? Those charges were just recently dropped against Mr. Meredith. Now, when we look at a new law, it just passed in Florida not too many months ago, stating that you can actually sue someone if you can prove that your, viol your privacy was violated with the use of something like a drone. But the important takeaway here is to educate the public and the pilots. Jen? Well, speaking of pilots, there are a lot of drone pilots out there that are very protective of their rights here and you've already had a lot of chatter on your Facebook page about this story before it even aired. You are absolutely right. In full disclosure, I'm a drone pilot. This is my drone here and this is the reason why I'm not flying it. But come to Facebook, WFLA Josh, to talk about this because their concerns is that there's not a lot of these cases and they're right. There are a handful of these cases of peeping Toms. But in the next couple months, they are going to sell thousands of thousands of these drones. That means a lot of new pilots who don't understand the rules, and there could be issues. So bottom line, if you're faced with an issue, don't take the law into your own hands. Jen. Good advice. Josh Benson reporting live for us from Tampa tonight. Our digital team is on your side with what you need to know about drones. Just click Josh's story on the WFLA.com homepage.